Welcome to Solar Ever, a solar module factory located in Tepeji del Rio, Hidalgo, Mexico. First of all, what are panels made of? The raw materials involved include tempered glass, aluminum frames, EVA, solar bag sheet, and of course, the solar cells. We are going to explain each one of these separately. For our panels, we use solar cells from several suppliers around the world, like Vietnam, Malaysia, Japan, among others. Solar cell selection is the first process. The main objectives are checking and classifying solar cells, to make sure that every solar cell in every module have the same color, same power, and same quality, in order to keep homogeneous aesthetics in conformance of the standards set by the market. Cutting cells by a laser cutting machine is an additional process we use for manufacturing the smaller panels. For example, 100 watts and 50 watts. We are going to identify two types of welding individual and chain welding. Individual solar cell welding is the process where we weld the ribbon made out of a tin alloy to the front or negative face of the solar cell. It is important to keep the lens straight and perfectly welded in order to avoid any further quality issues. According to the power of the module, the panels may have 36, 60 or 72 solar cells. The next process, solar cell chain welding, is where we weld the ribbon to the back, or positive, face of the solar cell, in order to create series circuits and to sum the power generated by all cells welded together. For example, for 260 watt modules, six chains of 10 cells are welded. For 100 watt modules, four chains of 9 or 18 cut cells may be welded. Laying is the process where all the materials are assembled together. We put the tempered glass, one layer of EVA that is going to be used for encapsulating solar cells chains previously welded, a second layer of EVA and the back sheet for back resistance and impermeability. This is going to be the final structure of the panel, but it cannot be used like this yet since the EVA has to be melted in the next process. After the laying process, we have two quality control inspection points, visual and an electroluminescence or EL checking. The operators check if there is a broken cell, a misalignment between cells, and that the panel has the proper dimensions. Also, in the EL checking, we can know if the panels were properly welded and we can detect any internal defects from the cell manufacturing. Now the lamination. The laminators can heat the panels and supply backing conditions to the panels 
so the EVA will melt and get glass, solar cell, and bag sheet all together. This process is irreversible, so every panel must be correctly inspected before they are approved to be laminated. All excesses are cut out so the final structure of the panel can be framed with no problem. The last production process is frame and cleaning. In here, we put the support around the laminated solar panels and press them until the aluminum frame stays in place. After that, we install the junction box on the panels and clean them both sides until they are ready for final inspection. The final testing is done by solar simulation. This test provides the electrical performance of the panels and its electrical values, like peak power, voltage, and current. It gives us a clear picture of the quantitative properties of each and every panel. The package and shipment area, being the last part of the factory, is dedicated to ensure that the modules are ready to be sent to any part of the world at any given time, either for national or international customers.